Today, I'll show you a preview of .NET Standard 2.0. Hello, friends of .NET. I'm Will Landworth, and you can find me on Twitter at TerraJobs. In this video, I'll show you a demo of the .NET Standard 2.0 preview in conjunction with the preview of Visual Studio. Uh, in fact, you can download the Visual Studio preview from here, so you can follow along for the demo that I'm going to show you. So before we go into the details, I would like to remind you of what .NET Standard actually is. In fact, I have an in-depth, uh, about 30-minute long video series on .NET Standard that gives you a quick overview of what it is, but also you know, tells you how it works, what the goals are, and why you should care about it. For this video, uh, it's sufficient to just say that .NET Standard is a new kind of class library that allows you to put a whole bunch of code into a single library that you can then reuse from all the different flavors of .NET which includes the .NET Framework, .NET Core, Unity, Xamarin, Mono, and so on and so forth. So what's new with .NET Standard 2.0? There are two major investments we have done based on the feedback we received from you. The first one is, if you're trying to reuse existing code uh, in the context of .NET Standard, you often run into limitations of .NET Standard 1.x, where a bunch of the APIs that you would like to use are not part of the standard yet. That includes XML APIs, some of the reflection APIs we had, um, some of the data APIs are missing. And so it's about 20,000 APIs that we have added across you know, all the different namespaces that we have. Um, and so these are not net new APIs. These are all existing APIs. It makes it really easy for you to reuse existing code in the context of a .NET Standard-based library. The second thing uh, we have received a lot of feedback for is that .NET Standard, while it's such a nice idea, the reality is that not many libraries are written for .NET Standard yet. So many of them are still targeting the .NET Framework. So what we've done in 2.0, we've added what we call the Compatium. And the Compatium allows you to reuse an existing .NET Framework binary as if it were a .NET Standard-based library. Of course, it doesn't work if the .NET Framework library is using APIs that .NET Standard doesn't have. But we found that about 70% of all the NuGet packages on NuGet.org are actually API compatible with .NET Standard. So these are all the NuGet packages you can reuse, even though they're not targeting the .NET Standard yet in some cases. All right, let's jump into the demo. The first thing I would like to show you is .NET Core, because a side effect of us growing .NET Standard is also the .NET Core has grown alongside it because .NET Core supports the .NET standard. So let me just create a .NET Core 2.0 console app, which, by the way, is also in preview mode. And you can tell I'm a very experienced developer because this is console app 14. So I had like 13 different attempts before this demo. So at this point, everything should be super smooth. And because this is an authentic demo recording, you can see Visual Studio is not responding yet. Ah, here it is. Awesome. So let me open up my source code here. So one of the first APIs I would like to show you is .NET datasets. So datasets are some of these APIs that were in the product forever. And if you don't know what datasets are, they're basically an in-memory mini database that makes it really easy for you to build uh, forms over data kind of apps. So if I just drag and drop this guy in, uh, I have right now a hardwired path, but the point here is I don't have to do anything but adding the using statement. So let's do that. And now I have a data set. And uh, the data set that I have is Northwind. And Northwind is our canonical sample database that is quite old at this point, I think 30, 40 years probably. So I thought it may be funny to, ch to, to see how many of the Northwind employees <laughs> actually retired at, at this point. So what I've done is I've written a small SQL query that uh, it's not a very hard query. All it does is you know, it takes the, em the employees, uh, constructs the full name, adds a few years to the birthdays to find when the retirement date is, and then just find the people that are retired, essentially, where the retired date is before the current date. If you know data sets, you know that there's not really the capability to run you know, actual SQL queries against this, uh, this data set. But you truly actually wrote a SQL engine in a different life of mine. Um, and so let's find this on NuGet, and let's see whether we can reuse that existing NuGet package. So I can go here. I can search. Let me search and query. Here we go. That's my library. Um, that library is actually, as you can see here, 
released a while ago. Originally, I actually shipped this thing uh, just as a binary download on, uh, on Coplex. So this library is about from 2005, so it is definitely one of the older libraries. And if we take a look at the, uh, the contents of the NuGet package, you can see that this references, uh, or this is targeting .NET Framework. So this is not designed for either .NET Core or .NET Standard. So with the current version of Visual Studio, you will not be able to reference this NuGet package. But the preview that I have here has support for .NET Standard 2.0. So when I click Install, I click OK. No error message. It just installed. OK, now let's try to use my library and see whether it actually works. So here's some stuff from my inquiry library. It has data context where you basically put in the data set. Uh, you construct a query object, and then you just execute the query. And then I just print the results. So let's run this. And lo and behold, it actually just worked. So as you would expect, it's a, even though it's an old library, it's a library that still works. Uh, all it does, it does some in-memory computation. So nothing that you would expect not to work out of the box. So that is awesome. So we could just reuse my existing binary. I didn't have to do anything for that. Um, now let's actually create a new project, this time an actual class library that targets the .NET standard. And now I can just take my super complicated business logic that I've written here, and I just cut this out, Control exit, go into my uh, new .NET standard based class library, and I just create a run method here, and I just paste the code in. Um, let me just go to the package reference I have here so I don't have to reinstall the NuGet package to the UI, which is now really convenient. And all now I have to do is add a bunch of usings, one from my library. And now for my console app, let me just add a reference to my newly added .NET standard based library. And then I can just create um, Uh, my little class library here, and then I can say run, and as you would expect, that also works. Sweet, now we have my business logic encapsulated in a .NET standard library, and uh, I'm not going to do it because it takes usually a little bit of time, and I'm not a UI person, but because it's not a .NET standard based library, I can totally create a Xamarin app, I can create a Unity app, I can create a UWP app, and they can all reuse uh, my existing business logic here. And uh, of course, things like this here, when I have hard-coded paths, will not work very well when I would run this thing on a Linux machine. So you know, keep in mind when you do cross-platform apps, you want to think about those, as those aspects here. But the key thing is, my existing library just works. I didn't have to do anything for that. And data sets, even though they're in all technology, are available with .NET Standard 2.0, and so are about 20,000 other APIs. All right, this concludes my demo. Uh, Please download uh, the preview of Visual Studio. Give this whole thing a spin, and let us know what you think.